How do you handle an asymmetrical listening room? This is a, a good question, and it's one I hear a lot, and it's pretty difficult to answer, but I'll, I'll do my best. It comes from Yik in Singapore, and Yik writes, it seems that all speaker positioning guides are written for square or rectangular rooms where there are side walls on both sides. I have an asymmetrical listening space where one side is totally open and I'm having trouble finding good speaker position. The listening area is 8 feet wide and 11 feet deep. The right side is open space. When setting up the speakers based on normal guides, I feel the volume and energy dispersion is imbalanced. The center image is tilted slightly to the left side, especially the base. It can be felt stronger on the left. How can I fix this? Well, that's, that's a really tough question, and it's hard. Here's one of the reasons I wanted, and, oh, Octave Records, here we are. This is the, the master, this is Neil Young's uh, uh, board, and uh, this whole space is, we're going to use for mix downs, and so kind of getting excited about all that stuff. In any case, um, one of the things that we worry about and one of the things that are always tough is when listening spaces aren't rectangular boxes or square boxes. And that's always really hard because let's face it, most of our living rooms are not just a rectangular space. They're open on the sides. There's, or, or we're placing between a fireplace or where there's a, an opening into the kitchen. I mean, modern homes today are very much unlike they used to be years ago where they were more boxy, you know, defined spaces. Here was your dining room, here was your kitchen, here was your living room. So today, you know, we like this big open stuff. In fact, in my house, years ago, we, we had seen the plans for it. Our whole kitchen area was boxed off. And uh, after, before we bought it, somebody came in and ripped all those walls out and made this big, nice open space, which is great for modern living because it, it, it just looks better. It looks more open, but it makes it tougher for stereo systems. What I advise people to do is generally, to the best of your ability, ignore the space and get it as far away from any bounding walls that you can. So in Yick's um, situation, he's got a big open area over here and then he's got it pushed up against the side. Well, if, if there's any way you can rearrange that so that you're less close to one of the boundary walls or by pulling it out into the middle of the room, sometimes even skewing it to the side at an angle, that can help. Now, it may look weird, but by, by doing things like that, by getting them away from boundary walls, by, by skewing them slightly and, and not um, trying to go for symmetry of left and right speakers relative to the center, you can usually compensate for it. And it makes people sometimes uncomfortable. Like in a number of rooms that I've had to set stuff up in that have open sides, what I've done is, is set it up in the standard method and then moved the left speaker, if that's the one closest to the opening, away or closer to the other one to compensate by ear and, and get that energy to be more even. So I think by a little bit of, of thinging with the thing, you can, you can definitely manage to alleviate some of that. Another thing you want to do is when you say you have base that is uh, asymmetrical, the, remember that the base uh, many times uses the rear wall to, to, to come off of. So if you have one that's closer to a corner, <clears throat> that one that's closer to a corner is going to have a lot more energy than the one that is out into the open. So again, by skewing them or pulling it farther away from the corner, maybe even putting a trap or something to reduce the energy of the one that is nearest the boundaries, then you'll kind of balance the system out a little bit. Okay, hope that helps. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Shameless plug, 99% true. I wrote this book for you. So 
I, I really would like you to have a look at it. I mean, some of the, some of the I'll read some of the chapters in the coming days. We'll do some we'll do some of that. I'll, I won't read the whole chapter. I'll just read little bits of it. If you're not too big on reading, and I know a lot of people aren't these days, um, get the audio book. It's it's really fun, and I think you'll enjoy it. You can listen to it in the car. You can you know any number of places. Ninety nine percent true. Go to Amazon, type in ninety nine percent true and it'll come up and then just grab yourself a copy. Thanks. Bye.